It's time for our final shoot down match of the day. Here's Chuck Cooley. And welcome. Welcome to the known pro shoot off. Our fifth place qualifier, 438 with 19 X's. Chance Bobeth shooting for Elite from Tennessee. Yeah, that mic is giving me some grief right now. Thanks. <clears throat> Shooting for PSE with a 438, 21 bonus rings. Stefan Hansen. From Salt Lake City, Utah, 438 with 22 bonus rings. Steve Anderson from Hoyt. <laughs> Shooting a 444 with 25 bonus rings from Asheville, North Carolina. Shooting for Matthews, Justin Hanna. <laughs> and your number one qualifier from Ontario, Canada. 446 with 24 bonus rings. Shooting for Matthews, Chris Perkins. Well, Darren Christian Berry, I'm Greg White for the final shoot down of the 2019 Hoyt Pro Am. And Christopher Perkins, our number one qualifier coming in here at a 446 not a lot of points separating first and second justin Hanna only two back but then we have three tied up at 438 mm -hmm. including the big man in the middle steve anderson and steve told me before this one he doesn't care he's going for nothing but 14s well i don't doubt it because when it comes down to accuracy five of the most accurate guys on the planet with a bow and arrow are standing out there on that line right now this should be a good show there's christopher perkins out of Ontario, Canada, eight years pro. Last, <laughs> <laughs> wow. And here Perkins we isn't messing go. around. And this is the rules have changed from the first three that we saw. Yes, this these guys are using range finders, so they're clicking it with a laser range finder. They know exactly what to dial their sight for, and you'll see by how many rings they hit. Justin Hanna, our 2018. Shooter of the year here in ASA competition with a 12. There's two for two. Mm-hmm. This was yeah, the 12. toughest one for Steve. He did go for it. He didn't lie. Nope, he's going for them all. That's Steve Anderson, the big cat. He shoots one a year. He made the shoot off in 2016 and shot then at every single 14. <laughs> <laughs> and he took third place. Well, so Steve Anner, I think I believe that this is only Steve's fifth ASA tournament, but also Steve's a world champion field shooter, and a lot of the same principles apply. Steve is an indoor national champion. He's a World Cup shooter. He's a beast. <laughs> uh, whatever he does with the bow and arrow, he's pretty darn good at. All right, so look at this one. You can see where the line's bent. I'm going to call this a 10. Okay. I, think, I don't think that's touching the edge of that crease which makes the outside of that line if I from what I saw right there on the screen I would call that arrow a 10. And this is Stefan Hansen's target number four. Yeah no doubt right there great look right there. Yeah 10 for Stefan. So Stefan coming in here sick I mean he is hacking and mm -hmm. weaving and coughing wheezing he's yeah. weaving we I think it's a racetrack yeah we we talked about uh, accuracy uh, Stefan's one of two people that have shot a 600 on the inner 10 in world archery events chance Bobeth with an eight so now you have Anderson Stefan and chance kind of separating themselves mm -hmm. so it looks like Anderson's gonna sit at a 46 tied with chance Stefan Hansen goes up two. Perkins still on top with a 460, and Justin Hanna with that 56. Justin minimized the damage by Perkins hitting that 14. He did answer with a 12, but Perkins is as confident as they come, and he's deadly accurate, so it's hard telling either how, how much he'll extend his lead or if he'll let Justin stay in the game here. 
He went for a 12 and got it. Perkins is going to extend his lead. Love the aggressive nature of Christopher Perkins. Just going after it. <laughs> He's just going to send it like Canadians yep, do. That's what he says. Just going to send it. Stay on no one's chance. I don't think Chance did he? Chance did shoot a five there. Yeah, no Chance. So Perkins, it's got a 12. Extends his lead. Chance with a five. So Chance losing some ground. Mm -hmm. He's got a 451. Perkins already at a 472. Justin Hanna with a 10, so he's going to lose another two points. Yeah, Perkins, Perkins extends his leads to six. Perkins is going to break the 500-point mark, it looks like. That one looks like a 14 to me. Uh, yeah. Called it. Boom. And got it. So Steve Anderson. He's back. Thrilling the crowd with 14s across the board. He's going for it. <laughs> so for Steve Anderson, basically all we're going to see is eight or 14 from the big cat. <laughs> And a 10. And a 10 for Stephen. So Anderson will move up to third on his own for the moment mm -hmm. at a 460. So Perkins at a 72, Hannah at a 66, and Anderson at a 60. If Anderson can keep this up and Hannah goes conservative, we could find those two all tied up after the yeah. fifth arrow. We're back to the original order. It's the... It's, uh, the placing is just as we started. The point gap has just changed quite a bit. There's Steve Anderson, like you're saying. Good look at Steve there. Mm -hmm. His wife, Linda Ochoa Anderson. Ooh. He said, get up. That looks, I don't know if he shot the taper, did he? He did. That chance on target, too. Yep, he smoked one. So if Steve's at eight and chance is at 14, that could change some things a bit. Although Chance is pretty seven back from fourth place, which was Stefan Hansen. Stefan in with a 10. Smoked it. That's such a small ring, too, isn't it? It is. He holds so steady. Mm -hmm. On the Havelina. It's going to get Chance There's to a 65. There's Perkins on that long deer. He got just a little bit left on it. He didn't give anything back, though. Still a solid 10. Mm -hmm. But an opportunity for Hannah. Yep. Justin can get a couple back here with a bonus ring. His arrow, to me, looks tall in that. He may have went for the 14. It looks like he did go for it. He's not going to get it. That might be a euchre just a bit outside. Mm -hmm. Eight for wow. Hannah. So, so eight-point lead for Perkins now. Mm -hmm. No damage for second in terms of Steve Anderson. So Anderson's going to move into a tie with Stefan Hansen. 468s apiece. Hannah at a 74. And Perkins sitting alone atop the leaderboard with a 482. Mm -hmm. Two more targets to go in regulation. Somebody has to be within 10 points of Chris to force that sixth arrow. And right now he's got his lead to eight, a couple more rings, and this one may be done like Michael Braden did over in five. Good look at Chris there. He holds so good, makes such a nice shot. That's a good one. That is a good one for Perkins. You can see Chance's bubble sitting right in the middle there. It's moving just a hair, leaning top limb to the left a little bit. It's the way he shoots. Mm. I wonder what he was going for That's there. I think the 14. I think he was shooting at the 14. He got a little long in his shot there and shot a little low left. Steve Anderson went for it, and he got an eight. So, so far for Anderson, 8-14, 8-8. 476 for the big cat. Stefan found a ring. He certainly did. 14 for Stefan Hansen. He now goes to 82. See the rangefinder that Hansen's mm -hmm. using? That's part of this known class. 
they know exactly what to set their sight for to the tenth of the yard. Mm -hmm. That's pretty unchar uncharacteristic for Chance to miss by that much. 8 5 14 8 for Chance. Big up and down swing in this known pro shoot down. Mm, can't mm. see from the lighting there, but I, the first look we had at that, I think that's a 12. Mm -hmm. yep. It is. So Perkins gets aggressive again, and now it's on Justin Hanna. Because if Hanna shoots 10 on this one, then it's going to be a 10 point advantage for Chris Perkins. And Perkins will have a chance to try to put this one away mm -hmm. if he chooses to. He's glassing, we call that, with those vortex binoculars, taking a nice clean look. Was this Justin here? Perkins still yeah, with the Ju long. Yeah, this is going to be Justin. This is Justin Hanna. Scored. Oh. oh, got the up. Got the 12. Gotcha. Good shot to keep it within eight. So eight point spread mm -hmm. for Hannah. So if Perkins wants to try to put this one away, he's got to go for the 14. Is there any damage? Because you know you're going to, an, I mean, yeah, it could be. But I, I think Chris just trusts his ability right here. He shoots at the 12 on the taper. He takes a six point lead, eight point lead, four point lead into the final arrow. and. You know, it, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be tough to get past Chris right here unless he makes a mistake. Two-time winner in 2017, Perkins, Fort Benning, and Metropolis. Trying to get his first 19. Good look at Justin aiming nice and steady there. Good strong shot. Ooh. Ooh. Justin. That is close. Hannah, that's target one. He needs to put two clicks in that sight. <laughs> His last arrow was just a hair left, but he caught it. They'll take a close look at that one. I don't know. The way they've been calling these, I'm going to go with that's a 14. If I had to call it from that look right there, I'd say it's in. He's going to ask for a second opinion. We might get a good Ooh, look. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a tight one. Uh, I don't think he's going to get that. No, I think you're right. I think with that close shot that we got from our ENG yep. camera, it's an eight. He did not get it. So Hannah went for it. So for Hannah. Now, if Perkins, by the way, so now that takes Hannah to 94. To 94. Perkins, Perkins with a bonus ring here will win it outright. That's right. 14 for Steve Anderson. So the big cat moves to 490. Like it, 8, 14, 8, 8, 14 for Anderson. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. <laughs> he went for all of them. Mm. Stefan here, maybe just under the 10 line. No, nope. they shuffled the 8. They There's did, the 10. 10. For Stefan Hansen, that's going to move him to 92. So that's a couple ahead of Steve Anderson. So, but, so it looks like. Perkins shot a, is this Perkins here? No. Oh, so this should chance. be Chance. A 10. 10 for Chance. 83. So Chance taking up the rear at an 83. Then you have Steve Anderson at a 90. Stefan Hansen, 92. Justin Hanna, 94. Perkins center 10. So that's going to take him to 504. So that means that it looks like we're going to have Perkins and Hanna. Shoot one more arrow. Shoot one more arrow. Mm -hmm. Leaderboard, 10 points to the spread. If Justin 14s it, it'll put him at a 508. Mm -hmm. Perkins will just need to hit the target to win. Hit so the target. Just hit the target to win. So this is really just a, uh, this is an extra arrow by rule if you're within 10. You, uh, you get a chance at the sixth and final arrow, but uh, literally if Justin 14s it, Chris just has to hit the animal to win this tournament. So he should be feeling really good right now. So important to do the work out on the range for those two days of competition mm -hmm. and get those points. We've seen Kaylee Johnston, our first place qualifier in women's pro, win it all. We've seen Kenny, Kenny Lance, Lance in open pro. Michael Braden took it all the way to the, to the finish line, and now here we are with Chris Perkins leading from start to finish and has a chance to seal the deal here with a, with a fairly, fairly stress-free arrow, I'm assuming. This would be four for four. 
for our number one qualifiers coming in to these shoot downs that would walk away with it all. This final arrow could wrap it up for round number one. They didn't set the bless box out. I don't know which one they're shooting. They've just chosen, since it's marked yardage, they've just chosen an existing animal and gave them a second. There it is, big deer. Big deer. This oh. is a long shot. Ooh, that is a long way. That's going to be all the way. Hannah's up. He's already at full draw. No, he's pointing a different way. He looks like the taper. Oh, yeah. Looks like taper. The taper. Yeah, mm -hmm. taper the turkey. Got to be the taper. It is a taper. He went for Hannah it. went for it. It's going to be a five for Justin. Puts him at 99, so it's over. He doesn't even have to shoot. If it's a five, it's over. It's not. He got the eight. So Hannah at a 502. So it is over. It's over. Chris Perkins doesn't even have to shoot this arrow. He's already <laughs> got it at a 504. <laughs> Mike, Mike might let him shoot it just for grins. Chris is liable to 14 it. Perkins is taking a look at the scoreboard, and he's going, uh, what do I do? Yeah, he's like, oh, I won. Okay. What do I do? Should I shoot? I think the crowd wants you to shoot it, Perkins. Yeah, the crowd's <laughs> going, let's shoot it, Perkins. So Perkins, I guarantee you right now, he's going for the 14. Oh, yeah, because he can miss it and still win. <laughs> and the crowd's cheering him on. Shoot it. Another, hey. another look with those Vortex binos. He's going to have a glance. He might shoot it in the eye just for grins, but I'd say he'll try to shoot the 14 here. <laughs> He's so confident in his ability. He's liable to shoot it right in the middle without even touching the line, knowing him. Already your champion in the known pro class. Plays to the crowd. Canadian Christopher Perkins. Let's it fly, hits the target, and oh my goodness, he's did the he, champion. Did he get it? <laughs> it's close. Oh, it's so close, <laughs> and they're going to score it. So Perkins went for it, and an eight, just a bit outside. But Perkins will wrap this one up with a 512 score, 10 points. So congratulations to Perkins, his first win since 2017. <laughs> so Christopher Perkins is with our Chuck Cooley for the winner interview. Take it away, Chuck. Well, you seem a little surprised there, Chris. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what was going on. They're like, you won. I was like, no, I got to fire a six here. They're like, no, you're still two points ahead. And you haven't fired one. I was like, squinting, looking at it because I can't really see it. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, it's been a season or two since we saw you here I on know. the stage and you won this wire to wire here. Yeah, no, it's a heck of a way to, uh, way to start the ASA year, that's for sure. Oh, for sure. And you kept the sweep alive. All of our number one qualifiers today won their rounds. We were waiting on you to do the same there thing. Thanks for filling that in. Yeah. And I heard Mike made you an offer. If you uh, if you shot that and you hit the 14, he was going to pay you in American dollars. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. But I think it was a touch high. It was just a tick high. It looked awful good. It was fun, though. Well, congratulations, man. What a heck of a start to the year. Great job. Thank Great you. job. Thank you. All right, so congratulations to Christopher Perkins. He came down a week early, went to Virginia, and was hanging out at True Ball Excel and drove down here. He had a set of sight tape, so he did all the right things, did Perkins coming into this first round of the 2019 McKenzie ASA Pro-Am Tour. Our first stop is done and dusted. Don't forget, March 23rd, we'll be in Alabama for the Black Eagle and New Breed Pro-Am. Easton Southwest Shootout in Paris, Texas, April 27th, May 18th. True Ball and Vortex Pro-Am, Augusta, Georgia. Round five, June 22nd, will be the Matthews Pro-Am in London, Kentucky, and then we'll wrap things up August 3rd, the McKenzie ASA Classic in Metropolis, Illinois. Well, Darren, Christian Berry, what do you think about the day? I think it was great. We got to see some of the most talented people on the planet with a bow and arrow. It's a great show for everybody to see, and glad to be a part of it. Thanks for joining me in the booth. We appreciate it. Thanks to Chuck Cooley and the entire cam crew. Thank you for joining us here from the 2019 Hoyt Pro-Am.
The ASA is brought to you by Eastern Archery and Vortex Optics, binoculars, rifle scopes, and rangefinders.